Hey guys, it's Faye, and today let's celebrate Pokemon Day with a little bit of non-content content. Um, my girlfriend recently got me an Elite Trainer box of the newest Pokemon TCG expansion, which is the Pokemon Sun and Moon base set. So let's go ahead and open some. Let's do this. So far, I've gotten, well, stuff. Like, I've bought like five packs. I got one free pack with some points I had. And I got pretty Garbo Pokemon, which that's okay. I mean, you're not gonna have a hit every time you open TCG packs. However, I did end up getting, let's see here. I like that remembered my settings. I got a full art Kukui my first go around and that was super exciting. So I'm hoping we can get some more sick stuff today. So let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, the Elite Trainer Box, of course, comes with, I'll show you real quick. Um, it comes with a code for Solgaleo sleeves and a deck box, which is cool. But our interest, our focus today is on the packs that came with it. So let's go ahead and start opening some. Let's hope for some sweet GX cards, which are new to this set. And well, let's hope for some good stuff because I mainly play the game online. Our uh, physical box was filled with Crabominables and Hariyamas and Masquerades and wow. So, pretty good stuff, good stuff. You know, commons, it's whatever. Pop Leo for your, if you get your, oh my god, I'm blanking, uh, Primarina GX. That would be cool. And a Lowland Doug Trio. It's not the best, but check out those locks. Look at them, they flow. Let's open another. Come on, baby, do the snaps. All right, Poison Barb sees some play in competitive. It can be really helpful. The poison can really get people. This is chance based, but I've seen some people play it. I don't know. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, oh, Toucan and why? I already had you. I had you. Why do you do this? Oh sweet, another poison barb. I'm down with that. So um, real quick, actually, the codes from the boosters offline do not give the same cards as what you get. Like, it's completely different. Hey, I need a Cosmoem. If you want to play Lunala or Solgaleo, hey, Cosmoem, you gotta have them. You just gotta. As far as I'm aware, I think the GXs aren't like, um, the uh shoot blinking again you know what i mean the ex cards i can't remember offhand oh palisand come on man come on hey we got nebby cosmog never hurts to have an illuma it's all right it's a good budget draw supporter. Let's see here. Oh, Polyrath, come on, man. Give it up. Give me something. I'll take even just like a playable uncommon. Oh, you gave me two somethings. Eevee is back in the mix with uh, energy evolution. That is really, really good. I'm not crazy about this card's art. But if you can see that, you basically can go and fetch an evolution that corresponds to the energy type, and that's it's just good. It's good for Umbreon. It's good for Espeon in this set. Really good. I heard Flareons are seeing play. Oh my god. No! No! Hariyama and Kangaskhan. I'm running out. I'm running out! Please! Oh, a Kukui! I need more of those, so that's great. Um, these are pretty good. Get a little quick muscle band action in there. You could draw two cards. And 20 more damage, so that's great. There we go! Hit! 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 
SB on GX was just talking about how it's great that that Eevee has the ability. You put a psychic energy on there, you can just tutor up SB on GX and slam it down. Love it. This thing is actually seeing play, so it's really good, and I'm pretty hyped about that. And last pack. Oh, Passimian is seeing some play. There's a Passimian deck going around. That's really fun. Team play, you got Muse. So you could have four Passimian on the bench and have a Mew in the active, and it can do team play with that as well. Um, Poison Barb again, which is great. Aw, well hey, Desidue Eye isn't bad. It's all right, it's a good budget card. It comes in the theme deck you can get. But um, yeah, so that was it. We got some, we got some st stuff, I guess? I mean, I could always use another Kukui. It's an actually pretty good supporter. It's a good supporter actually, is what I wanna say. We got some poison barbs, we got an Ilima, which is okay. I want to get some more lilies. I, I like the concept of Lily as a draw supporter. I mean, it's very good on the first turn. It's still decent later in the game, which I can appreciate. Reminds me of kind of like a Talon Flame in a supporter package, which is really cool. Talon Flame being the card that you can play the first turn at its second evolution and get whatever two cards you want when it attacks. So yeah, and we got, where is it baby? Let's filter. Let us filter today. I don't know why these are considered mega, mega rares or whatever. I guess because they have foiling. I guess that's their criteria here. But, got my first GX on the online game. Espeon! Dude! This is really neat. The GX attacks of force can only be used once per game, just like a Z move in the actual Sun and Moon games. I don't know why the hell they call them GX moves here. If someone could explain that to me in the comments instead of a Z move, maybe that was the Japanese name. I do not know. But. That was the opening of eight Pokemon Sun and Moon packs from my Elite Trainer Box I got as a late Valentine's Day gift. I'm pretty satisfied, I have to say. Anyways guys, if you're interested in TCGs at all, I do recommend this game. I haven't updated any of my decks, obviously for Sun and Moon, but it's affordable, it's fun, it's way better than Magic the Gathering Online. I wish MTG would give codes for from their physical products to their online client, but that is not Wizards' prerogative. Thanks for sticking it out with me and having some fun non-content content for Pokemon Day. I'll catch you guys later. See ya!